good morning. All right, I'm not really ready for it to be good morning, but it is good morning. Start of another week. Yeah, I got this Instacart. It was like 40 bucks, 27 items, seven and a half miles. Let's go shop to wake up. Well, the funniest thing just happened i just accepted an uber for like i didn't do any ubers last week i accepted it i like it was 575 for two and a half miles i debated doing it i was like eh. and then i was like whatever that's that's doable it's worth doing and then i accept it and immediately uber's like canceled order canceled so uber's out here playing games just seeing if i'll accept stuff i guess anyway i'm signing out of uber all right i got the next instacart it is definitely not the best order definitely not the worst order what is it 30 bucks seven miles 30 items three customers that's the part that sucks because i know the first customer tipped good so basically instacart's getting quite a deal here because you know they get to charge each one of these customers you know the delivery fee amount and then they're going to pay me out ten dollars from it to do three orders whatever i got that instacart shop for and I'm getting finessed on this one because the person who I know tips really good didn't order that much stuff and I had to refund them on a veggie tray which is like 15 bucks I don't know what's gonna happen but I know that I'm not gonna make the $30 I saw when I accepted the order all right so I'm on my way to the third drop-off and it is the apartment building that is the most pain in the ass around here. And they have a note that says the elevator is broken. I haven't delivered there in like a month. And the elevator was broken last time and I ended up getting locked in and I had to sneak out through the parking garage. Because what this place, like they have instructions on how to get to the other elevator. But if you get to that other elevator and you... I don't know. I just ended up where I couldn't get in or out of any doors. You had to have a key code to do anything. And then the building's huge and the customer couldn't find me and their kids were running around the building. It was a nightmare. I, I'm hoping this one goes good and I'm hoping this person is not the one who did the tip. I'm putting my money on the second customer being the one who had a crappy tip just based upon what they ordered. Elevator is still broken, but I found the right elevator this time. Alright, so after dropping off, I was right about the second customer, they tipped two dollars, and the third customer they tipped a little more than two dollars. But that apartment building they live in is such a pain in the ass. It, it takes like 10 minutes just to get in and out of that place. Like yeah, that's two people on the naughty list. I'm, I'm not delivering to them again for their $2.71. I'm so glad that I I, only, I made 29 something. I thought for sure I was going to lose a lot more on that order, but that's good. All right. I got the next Instacart. And I'm going to tell you all a little story about it before I tell you what it is. So I saw it at 10 or $11. And then I saw it. I've seen it like three times. They kept adding a dollar to it. And I thought about it. Oh, 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 almost the uh, phone almost fell. Oh, it's trying again, but we're not going to let it fall. Anyway, I saw it for 10 or $11. Then I saw it for 12 Then I saw it for 13 And I was like, all right, I'll do it for 13 Because it's like 16 items and it's only going like a mile or two up the road. So it's a super easy order. I was surprised no one else grabbed it because, you know, it's an easy order. But we're going to do this one. It should put me over 80 bucks. All right, I got the next Instacart. It's kind of not the best one. 42 bucks, 16 miles, 
but the way it goes like it won't be 16 miles to drive back home so it's probably like five to ten miles to drive back home anyway only 30 items two customers after that last one I went home and hopped on the bike I only made it to about 25 minutes before I got this order I made it about eight miles it felt so good I can't wait to go back and get back on the bike all right Ugh, that ends the cart I spent 15 minutes in aisle one the one person just they're vegan gluten-free soy boy all, all that stuff they got and you know every time they don't have the gluten-free vegan crap they don't want a replacement because you can't replace anything it's all the weirdest shit in the world oh anyway we got it figured out but i'm scared to see what happens to my tip when you gotta refund them and all the gluten-free vegan you know super expensive crap all right so i lost almost five dollars on that one uh the second one i didn't get any drop off action because he came out and met me but yeah that's not too bad that's the way she goes it sucks but when you want all that vegan stuff what can you do all right, I just accepted another Instacart, and I don't know what the hell I was thinking. <clears throat> I mean, it's a good order, 83 bucks. I think it was like almost 60 items, but 34 miles. Jeez, I didn't realize I was going to be driving this much. This is, because round trip, that joint's going to be 50 miles, 60 miles. You know, that's a lot of driving. But at least it'll put me at $200 for the day, so unless we lose out on a lot of tip, which is totally possible. And I have to shop at Aldi and Wegman, so just, I wanted the $80, but I think, I don't know, I think this is a bit much for it. All right, that Aldi order went super smooth. Aldi was packed too, the worst part was checking out. I love shopping at Aldi, they only got four aisles, they don't got like multiple of the same thing, different size. They, everything is easy. You find, you, you look for potato, you find potato, it's potato. But I have a feeling the tip might suck on the Aldi order, but you know, what can you do? I don't know, this next order, the tip has gotta be magnificent. As I was making my way back, I just turned on Uber and I like immediately got this one. I can't even believe it. It's 13 bucks. Got to shop for five items at Safeway. It's 6.3 miles, but like five of the miles are just getting to the Safeway. So this is a super easy order. All right, I dropped that Uber off and. Uber does a lot worse of a job than uh, Instacart does at um, the amount of base pay they pay out to get their shopping orders done. Because that person tipped me $1, so Uber paid me $12. All right, I don't know what's gotten into Uber, but $12 order, <clears throat> picking up at Panda Express, going four miles. Oh, I forgot to turn off I'm sure this is trash. Yeah, DoorDash is talking about 15 bucks to go 13 miles. Yeah, good luck with that one. I swear the military, and it's going on the military base. The military base around here is like the acceptance rate killer because you will see orders that are just not worth doing all the time going there. All right, we got the Panda. Happy customer. All right, that, drop that Uber off. That's how I expect people to be when they order food, you know, come outside and get it like, yes, my food's here. But like so many people, I don't know, I guess they're playing video games or 
twiddling their thumbs. I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, I got this uh, Instacart at the Wegmans, which is like right a mile up the road. And it's 14 bucks. I think it was 18 items. And it was going a couple miles, but it's headed back towards my house. So we've been on a streak. I I haven't even finished my bike ride. It's five, it's almost, it's almost dinner time. I gotta get home and walk the dog. Oh my goodness. All right, I got another Instacart. We got a case of the Mondays going on, guys. If this one works out good, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna have $300 today. So it is 50 bucks, seven miles, 32 items, two customers. Super easy. I uh, have been chilling. I just finished my bike ride. I did another 40 minutes, made it to 20 miles in about one hour. I'm feeling good. I need to eat though after I do this Instacart. This might be the second person in this building today to go on the naughty list. Yep, so it happened. Two people in that one apartment building, I mean, it's a huge apartment building, but two of them in one day, both on the naughty list. And I, I had a feeling, I replaced the chicken breast for this person, all right? And immediately they were like, I need pictures. I'm sorry, but you can say, I, I would like some pictures, please. You know, like, what what's the, what is up with these people? All right, Tuesday morning now. And we had a good day yesterday, and today is not starting off the same. It is 9.30. Just got my first one worth doing. 15 bucks, 10 items four or five miles. I don't know. I didn't get a screenshot. Crack finger slipped up. The way she goes. All right. Drop that into the car at all. And yeah, it's 15.69. But yeah, freaking somebody hit me with a, a two star yesterday i mean it got removed because they take away your two lowest ratings so i have two two stars removed and i just know that it was one of them people that uh tipped me two dollars yesterday had to have been but uh yeah and i was thinking how like you know the holidays i had all kinds of bad ratings come in and it's a little halfway past February and I'm I was just getting close to getting rid of all those bad ratings and I got these two three stars I know one of them will go away pretty soon though and then the other one's gonna be there for a hot minute all right got the next instacart it's been about 20 minutes I looked at it another one before this one I was debating on doing but it was two customers 35 items 20 bucks it's only going two or three miles so would have been better to do it on that aspect, but this one I got $43, but it's going 15 miles to hike all the way out to Annapolis, but I don't mind that drive. It's good gas mileage, tax right off, and it puts 43 points on the board in one order, 30 items. It's at the Wegmans, of course. So, yeah, if I can have another $200 day, that'd be good. Well, I had $300 a day yesterday. So if I have a $200 day today, that puts me at $500 the first two days of the week. That's good. Hopefully I can do that. Instacart. Um, I pretty much 
made it back from Annapolis into my jurisdiction. And this one's a good one. I mean, it, it's, I don't know, some people probably not like it, but it's uh, about $45, 62 items. That's why some people wouldn't like it. But it's not even going two miles, so. That last one, you know, I drove a lot of miles. This one, I'm not gonna drive a lot of miles. The yin and the yang, so. I might shop a little longer on this one, but fastest shopper alive. It ain't gonna take that long. All right, y'all, that Instacart, my best friend. That one is smooth as could be. Literally, like, all the items, I just, like, I go into the section, the item's like, I'm right here, and I'm like, all right, hop in the cart, and then go to the checkout, and, like, my favorite checkout, my favorite cashier at Giant was training a new girl, so that meant she bagged the stuff while the new girl just scanned it all oh, for all them items. It was so fast. Drop that Instacart off. $400 for the week. Tuesday before 1 p.m. Doing good. That person had a doormat that said, like, don't place items here in front of the door. It's crazy that that's, that has to be a thing. But common sense ain't so common, y'all, so try to be common. All right, I made it home, walked the dog, got another Instacart. It's 3158, going like five miles, 44 items, two customers. All right, that Instacart went all right. Somehow that second customer ordered 16 items. The most 16 items I've ever seen. That shit was crazy. the next instacart what did i do i went for a bike ride i did 19 miles in the wild too real world action um but yeah this one 29 dollars and something senses and three miles 43 items two customers so we're gonna get this one shot for at the food line All right, so that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Freaking watch that suggested video. Freaking leave me a comment, click the like button, click on that shoe, subscribe to the channel, or you know, just do whatever you wanna do. Take it easy. See you next time. Upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Peace.